Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on permutation and combination. In this video, we'll be looking at introduction to permutation. Permutation is the arrangement of objects in a definite order. That is to say, the position of the objects are important in this arrangement. This definite order is the key phrase we need in this arrangement for permutation. The number of permutations of n objects taking r objects at a time is denoted by n permutation r and given as n permutation r is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial, where r is less than or equal to n and it is greater than zero. So please note that zero factorial is equal to one so that if you have r is equal to n here we're going to have zero at the denominator so that zero factorial will be one so at that point n permutation n will be equal to n so that if you are permuting n object taking n number of object at a time then your permutation will just be n factorial so we look at some problems here. Problem one, find the number of permutations of the letters of the word stone. So in our solution, since there are five letters of the word stone and we are taking five letters at a time, then the permutations will be five factorial so that we expand to give us five times four times three times two times one and that gives 120 permutations in the letters of the word stone so that's all for problem one we then go to problem two for problem two in a quiz competition comprising of eight competitors find the number of ways the first second and third positions can be taken so in our solution this is a permutation of eight people where we take three at a time the three people are those taking first, second, and third positions. So this is going to give us n equal to 8 and our r equal to 3. So that the number of ways will be 8 permute 3. That's going to give us 8 factorial over 8 minus 3 factorial. Expanding this. We are going to have it as 8 factorial over 5 factorial, giving us the expansion as 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial over 5 factorial. So the 5 factorial here goes with this 5 factorial. We are left with 8 times 7 times 6, and that gives 336 ways of taking first, second, and third position among 8 competitors in a quiz competition so that's all for problem two we then go to problem three for problem three how many four digit numbers can be formed from the digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 without repeating any digits so there's a case of repeating digits we're going to look at that one in our conditional permutation so we now look at it from here now that we are given 10 digits and we are required to form four digit numbers from them so in our solution we look at it that this is a permutation of 10 numbers taking four at a time so that our n is equal to 10 and r is equal to four so the number of four digit numbers will be 10 permutation 4 and this is going to give us 10 factorial over 10 minus 4 factorial 10 factorial over 6 factorial expanding this we have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial over 6 factorial this 6 factorial goes with this 6 factorial we are left with 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 and that gives 5044 four digit numbers.
So that's the end of solution to problem three. We then go to problem four. Four men are to be seated in a row of eight seats. How many ways can this be done? So in our solution, this is a permutation of eight seats and five men. So that our n is equal to eight and our r is five. So the number of ways of seating them is going to be eight permutation five, eight factorial over eight minus five factorial. This is eight over three factorial. 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial over 3 factorial. The 3 factorial goes with this 3 factorial. We are left with 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. And that gives 6,720 ways of arranging the 5 men in a row of 8 seats. That's all for problem 4. We then go to problem 5. For problem 5, find the value of n if n permutation 2 is equal to 12. Um, this is still very simple. We expand this n permutation 2, simplify and equate it to 12. So in our solution, given n permutation 2 is equal to 12, this is n factorial over n minus 2 factorial is equal to 12. Expand this n factorial up till n minus 2 so that we have n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial over n minus 2 factorial is equal to 12. This n factorial goes with this n factorial. We are left with n into n minus 1 is equal to 12. Expanding this, we have n squared minus n is equal to 12. Arranging this to form the standard form of a quadratic equation, we have n squared minus n minus 12 is equal to 0. Factorizing this, we have n minus 4 into n plus 3 is equal to 0. How do we get the factors? Um, we are looking for two factors of negative 12, that is two numbers whose product will give us negative 12, but the sum will give us negative 1. The negative 1 being the coefficient of n. So the two factors are minus 4 and plus 3. Then we can put it in this way. Minus 4 times plus 3 gives minus 12, and minus 4 plus 3 gives minus 1. So that's it. And there is only one positive value of n here. Since... Um, our n cannot be negative in this context, so we are going to have it as n minus 4 is equal to 0, so that our n is equal to 4. So that's all for the solution of problem 5, and this is the highest we are taking in this tutorial. See you in our next video on permutation and combination. Till then, goodbye.